Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I think personally the game volume is way too high so I'm gonna lower that a little bit. Uh, anyways, what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna talk to Hippocrates because we got over to the area where he is. He's in Argolis on the northeastern part of the city. In the city of Argos, which is where I am. No. Oh, wait. Yermany Ripados. Argos. What a coinkadink! I think I already said that last time, right? I already said that last time. Let me enunciate. I'm such a friggin' south, southern, western, incomprehensible American. Um. It is south of the Bloody Oracle. All right, well, we will put our marker there, put her there, and we'll go. I really like my armor that I am currently wearing. Yep. Unicorn! Let's do this. Following, oh, wow, everybody watch out. We're in a new land now. Wow, everyone's really good at doing front rolls. Oops. Oh wow, we just I just I just killed that person. I just killed them with my unicorn's horn. Like actually just impaled them straight up. Oh pretty! Oh this is nice. game is so pretty! And now that we're out of the city, we can actually speed up. Bronze Club of Periphetes. Where? There's a stag. Herion of Argos. Whoa! Let me go grab this fast travel coin real quick. And whatever this is. Sanctuary of Hera. Okay. Interesting. All I have to do is find a sacred place and climb up on top and there will probably be a viewpoint. Come on, upwards. Up we go. <laughs> Up on top of the angel? Not the angel, the winged person. That's an interesting way to think about it though. Like, anything we see with wings in Greece isn't an angel like we think of it, you know? It's just a person with wings. I wonder if that's where uh, Christian kind of like picked up on. They're like, oh yeah, wings, for sure, that, that's a cool thing. We'll make angels with wings. Come on. Because angels are technically supposed to be like these like crazy, like I think according to like Christian mythology legend, angels are supposed to be like really almost like terrible to behold. Like they're not these like eh, pretty angels with nice wings and, and flowing robes. They're like ten wings incomprehensible faces like I think anyway that's how it's supposed to be so yeah we just like the legend like the how we portray them is just kind of based on making them a little more human we had a hard time there wow this this person's just in the middle of the city it's amazing Let 
Amadeus is just right in the middle of the city. This is the city of the dogs? That building has not rendered. And this statue. There they go, okay. A bunch of rowdy guys. They're probably dumb. <laughs> There's a big pig! You just run it in the street. Okay, so we found. Okay, I do want to get this. Can I just like sneak up on this person and kill them? I could. Oh, and uh, this is Hippocrates. That's Hippocrates' clinic. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that guy is a little more protected than some of the other ones that I've encountered. Oh, it's uh, like a statue workshop. Okay. Like bronze molds and stuff. That's what was underneath us. Oh man, it's snowing outside right now. It's a perfect day to play video games. Actually, Hopefully, when this goes up, very soon thereafter, I'll be streaming. So, if anybody sees this in the first like hour or two, stop by. I'll probably—I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm probably playing a little bit of Coder and a little bit of Arcade Spirits. I haven't—I need to finish Arcade Spirits. I got—I need to. Yeah. Anyway, I need to finish it. It's a really good game. I actually really want to finish it. <laughs> Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Wow. These outfits are so nice. I'm gonna say it forever and ever and ever, but I really would love to work for Ubisoft just doing like their research department. Hire me, Ubisoft! I'll research historical facts for you. I'll research the clothes and the statues and the, the dying bins and I just accidentally triggered a cutscene. It's fine. Hopefully it's fine and the game doesn't Look, crash. Look, you insignificant oh. peon. <gasps> Tell me where he is or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Then, then don't bother with it. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him well, down. People are so Out of sensitive about these sorts of things. They get oh, so like thank all the gods she's gone. Defensive. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. <laughs> can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis at least? Yes. But he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. There were medics. I mean, like, Hippocrates was like, he was sort of, he was like a revolutionary figure in many ways, but it's like, you had people who would heal you, like, right? Like, they didn't just leave soldiers and be like, hey, do your best. Like, they would wrap the injuries and stuff, like. But maybe, I think it's the fact that Hippocrates took it to the too, air quote, too far, right? And he's like setting himself up, but he didn't, he's not, he's just saying, hey, I guess right, she said that you have to declare your, your abilities as God-given. 
And that's what most people would do when they were like sages or healers. Their talents were given to them by a god. It wasn't that they just, you know, learned by themselves, essentially. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. They were still pretty nutty, but <laughs> he, was, he was doing better things than what was currently around. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. Okay, so for some reason I started getting weird, uh, like screen tearing. But let me see if I can get this guy to say it again, because it was really funny. What kind of equipment? Yeah. It's just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, <laughs> and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. And an enema that bag. Had better be properly wrapped. <laughs> an enema bag. Get an enema bag. I don't want an ancient Grecian enema. Oh my gosh. Oh god, can you just imagine? I ah. could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? Well, do for My price. services don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. Mm -hmm. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's Watch, near the Cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot, though I wouldn't mention it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I assume lots of people have bald spots. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? So people come here because they are sick and want blessings, but the current priests at the the place where they normally go aren't doing a great job and Hippocrates is like I can do better and he does and everyone's like and like, they don't they don't see the fact that he's helping people right they're just mad that they're they feel like their power is being lessened which it is so I mean it makes sense from a power perspective, but from a, from a perspective of people who are supposedly supposed to be helping those in need, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, you should be, you, you could ask him to teach you, but you can't, right? Because, like, that would be hearsay. It would be heathen. You'd be a heathen. Oh. I probably could have uh, fast traveled here. Coming through! I don't mind. Talk to Hippocrates. That enema bag better be wrapped. Also, like I could have just, I, I know I would probably have gotten money. Wow, you were not rendered either. Uh, there's an update that I wasn't able to put in before I started the game, so any small problems we encounter will, like these rocks not rendering, are probably due to that. But yeah, no, like, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I mean, you could just ask somebody to go, but it's like, I'm a mercenary, I get paid to do things, like, you're gonna ask me to do stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna get paid, and I would've probably gotten paid regardless, but, you know, it's just how it is, I'm a mercenary. What if I wanted to explore first? So... What has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. 
So Stratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. So Stratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course yes. I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Cassandra of Sparta. What did you come here for, Cassandra of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, oh. and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. Oh god, why the first one? Where should I look for your notes? For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return oh, if you ask. He knows oh, exactly. Right. They could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. Hmm, okay, so he's hoping that they'll be useful. She would have come here a long time ago with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. Interesting. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. Hmm. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... you know. My what? <laughs> your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes. Make your joke <laughs> while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. <laughs> thank, thank you, I think. Uh, I'm a very attractive person. Yes. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Okay. My dog, stop! All right, and for Hippocrates, we do not want to kill because first we must do no harm. The doctor will see you now. He needs... needs medical notes from a nearby Ford's chief physician. He's in the northern part of the ancient ruins of Persian. Oh, wait. We left Argolis. Okay. Oh, here. Here, here, here. <laughs> Enemies cramping your style? You gotta get those notes, Sparky. Little doggy boy, he's going crazy. I gave him a bath today, so now he's like mad that we can't go outside. It's snowing, my dude, and I'm not going on a walk when it's snowing. We're not. I'll put you on the treadmill. My dog can go on the treadmill. He's very talented. Wow, why is this loading screen taking so long? I'm like traveling like 300 meters, jeez. Okay, we're like 900, but. But I don't have time to edit these things out. Alright. Yeah, we are having a hard time rendering. Look at that tree. 
Oopsie. <laughs> but no, this game is fine. It's fine. We don't take damage from anything. Okay, no. Stop! Oh my gosh, dog! So annoying. Oh. The, oh wow, the Athenian leader is already vulnerable here. I guess that's why I could, um... I could start the war right now, I think. The, like, conquest battle. I want, I want to cover an awning like that. I want a triangle awning. Whoa, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. What are you doing, guy? Right? I think I'm heading towards the place that I... Oh, I'm a little bit. Okay. Stop. <sighs> oh. Hall of the 49 Skulls. Uh -huh. They're freaking embedded into the walls. What? Who are you? What? I'm confused. I'm not confused, I'm curious. There's no nothing to loot. Nothing. I think we're getting there. Oh wow. Vivid. Bloody Oracle. I won't ask any questions. Let's keep sight. Okay. Oh, Alright, my bad. Oh, fire. 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 fire, 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 I let myself on fire. Maybe this isn't the place I thought it was. Oh, is it this place? Are you the ancient ruins of Perseus? I'm sorry, you can probably hear my dog. He's throwing things. I've taken away his toys for now. And he's pulling his bed apart instead. Like, seriously, I can't do anything unless I take him on a walk first thing in the morning. Like, he absolutely will not behave. It's really annoying. It's incentive to get me out on a walk every day. But still, there are days like today where a walk isn't an option. And it's like, stop! Would you stop? which is where we are. Oh, dang it. See, I keep... So this is the city Argos. And then... Okay, we, the country we're in is Argolis. I keep... All, like, I keep misreading it. So I need to find... Okay, here I am. Been doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. My bad. My apologies. But at least we found some cool places. Helps us level up. Well, if I don't take damage, then here we go. Yeah. Or if I don't die, rather. That makes climbing down mountains a lot easier. See, so something like that, it's okay in a limited area, like I think in Dragon Age Inquisition. Your fort, essentially. You, uh... Up don't take damage when you fall. 
I mean, you're invincible. Like, unless you take damage, you don't die. But in, in position, you, uh... You just... Don't die, don't take damage at all. Which is fine in that area. If that's how it was everywhere else, I'd, you know, you'd abuse the crap out of that. His notes are well guarded. Why? Hmm. Apparently, an yeah, anthem yeah. thing has been downloading in the background, even though I can't play on the PlayStation. So, this is something where I can't actually. Oh no, I can. Okay. Hopefully, the I Mighty Tearings. Built by the Cyclopses. Or so the legend goes. Can I just walk in? They'll be on high alert here. Oh. No, just walking in. Okay. Oh boy, everybody here is really high level. So where's the notes? Over there? Jeez. This is gonna take some work. I may just sneak in. Yeah, that looks better. That's like a better entry point. Oh, now he's torn his bed apart. Like, torn all the blankets and stuff out. But he found some rawhide to chew on, and now he's curled up on the mess that is his bed. Just like. Chewing on a friggin' bone, like, well, everything's fine. Cool, thanks, dog. Okay, this right here. Right? Where did it go? What are you doing here? Hi. Hippocrates sent me. Ooh, wow, your nice. commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. Uh... I mean, like, who am I to choose who lives and who dies, right? But I'm not gonna pull this guy from a patient, you know what I mean? To, like, go help somebody else's patient. And it's not this guy's fault that Hippocrates' notes got taken, so... It would be he's wearing he's wearing the uh, the medical symbol essentially on his neck, so he already is probably a follower of Hippocrates of a sort, you know. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. No, you shouldn't. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient? You have my word. Oh, wow. I could just kill his patient. I'll go get your bone forceps. What do you mean? I'm not supposed to be in here. Where's the bone forceps? Why 
require bone forceps where? Over there? Oh my gosh, they're way over there. Really? No, I think that's a soldier. Do I have to kill them? Do I have to kill this soldier? Oh no. Wait, wait, nope, he's next to them. Why are the bone forceps over here? Oh my gosh, and they're, they're, does he realize what he's asking by, by asking me to do this? Like, sneak around in his garrison? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and acquire the forceps? Maybe I can just run in and run out, you know what I mean? Taking longer than I anticipated. That's how it always is, though. It's always one more thing. One more thing, and then we'll be fine. Then we'll be good. Then I'll come help you. I can't morally pull that guy away from a patient for another one, because what gives that patient patient more right to live than the other one, you know? seen hard times this building oh they're like oh we just want a break la di da and here I am supposed to like kill them or something which I'm not gonna do I'm just gonna run in and grab it run out Forceps should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Pokratis. These are the forceps he wanted. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm stuck. It's fine. switch it. I just figured out how to switch it. You press L1 and then down, and that's how you switch it. Switch the, like, melee abilities. I figured that out on accident. Well, it's trying to use the abilities. Is this it? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Well, his patient's probably dead, but Hippocrates. Might be anything for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. I look so good. Loot what? I did it without killing anybody. I'm so great. Wolves. 
No! I'm busy! You called me mistress. That was very nice of you. Thank you. Oh, also, we said that she that our mother may have had an injured baby. So, since we can't take fall damage, me or my brother, the brother obviously lived being dropped as a baby. Um, but also, how do we know that she had the baby? Like, I didn't... I didn't know we knew that. I thought it was just her, honestly. Better stay hidden. I didn't realize she had gone and retrieved her baby and not me. You know? Because I was, like, washed up on shore. I, like, ran off into a boat. Or, like, I don't know, maybe she told me to go? Like, how, it, it, the flashbacks are unclear. Is if my, my mom, like, got me out of there or not. But, um, I thought that the cult had picked up my brother. So I'm a little confused. Hippocrates, how's your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missiles helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Nice to meet you. Come with me. You've oh. had a busy day. No hard feelings. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But hey! two more things matters. I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. Whoa! Do you remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Awesome. Helos Bracer is nice. I, am I too young for these? I didn't realize. Oh, whoops. I'm about to like murder somebody on accident. Uh, I think that was only level 17. It shouldn't be. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I really like your dress, though. Run, Hippocrates, run! Anyway, I should definitely call it here. I have to edit this and get this out before the day ends. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Sorry for my dog being in the background, being annoying. Um, but I appreciate it. There's a mercenary or bounty hunter right here, but they're not after me. So that's good. Oh, good. Especially because you're much bigger than me. But anyway, yes. Ooh, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you're having a phenomenal day. And I will see you in the next one.